Hey guys, how's it going? This is King Alfie, and today we're going to be addressing one of the most common comments in my replay mod install tutorial, and that is, how do I install FFmpeg? Because I've noticed that a lot of people have been having issues with that lately, and upon looking at the link that I've provided and my old video, I realized that the links are a little out of date. So today, I'm going to show you guys how to install FFmpeg and how to install it in the future too, if the links ever change again. Let's start things off by getting rid of the FFmpeg that we already have, that way I can install this with you guys from start to finish. So boom, boom. There we go, let's install this fresh. Alright, let's jump into this. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to Google and search up FFmpeg. So you're going to want to go to the first link that shows up, ffmpeg.org. Now, this is where people start to get a little confused in the tutorial video, because when you head to Downloads and you head to the Windows Builds, the builds look a little different than they do in the video. And that is because the builds have changed since I released this video in August or whatever it was in 2020. And they will continue to change because FFmpeg is an open source material, so it's constantly evolving and it's constantly being developed by the open source community. So from time to time you are going to see different links, but that's completely fine and they are all reliable sources. So never be afraid to click any of these guys here. But for our convenience, we're just going to click on the first one, that's usually going to be the more commonly used one, and it'll bring you to this page right here in this case. So, what you're going to want to do from here is scroll down, and you're going to find a bunch of different links on whatever page you end up on, whether it be now or in the future, but to make it easier on yourself, just look for the mirror, because that's going to be the easiest one to download. You can also go to the Git repositories, because like I said, this is an open source material, so you can access the base code and download all of the programs from there, but easiest thing, just go to the mirror. So click on that, and it's going to bring you to this guy right here. So you'll notice there's a couple different things that you can download. You only need to download the essential.zip. Make sure you get the .zip file, not the 7-zip. Otherwise, it will require an extra program like WinRAR or 7-zip to uh, unzip the folder. And .zip is native to Windows, so you'll be able to do that very easily. So let's get that downloaded. All right, that's all downloaded now. And before we move on from this page, I will mention you can feel free to download the full build if you would like, but it is not needed for replay mod. All you need is the essential build. So let's open this guy up. And that opened on the wrong screen. So let's drag that over here. You've got this folder right here inside the zip. You're going to want to extract that to your program files 86. So I'm just going to grab that and copy it. And now we'll head to my PC, C drive, and then program files 86, and you're going to want to extract that file to here. So it's going to ask for administrator permission, as always, feel free to give that, and it will extract or copy over, depending on how you decided to do that, and it'll give you this file right here. So now just go ahead, right click, and you're going to want to rename this guy. So get rid of all the garbage at the end here and just leave it as FFmpeg. That way you can copy the file extension because that is the second most common comment on my replay mod tutorial video. And that is the file extension is too long to copy into replay mod. So this is how you get around that. Just get rid of all the garbage at the end. Just leave FFmpeg on the file folder. Now that you got all that done, you're going to head back into Minecraft. By this point, I'm going to assume that you already have Fabric and Replay Mod installed. If you don't, I will leave the link to the install instructions in the description below. But you're going to want to enter a replay footage and throw down some keyframes like so. That way you can actually render the camera path. And you're going to head down to this area right here at the bottom. So by default, this is actually going to be empty. Um, I think this is empty now. Yeah, we're just going to assume that's empty. There we go. So from here, we're going to want to go back to our program files 86, where we have our FFmpeg. We're going to go into that folder and into the bin, where we have our FFmpeg application. So from here, we're going to want to right click that and go to properties. And we're going to copy the file path all the way from C to the end of bin. 
and we're going to head back over to Minecraft and paste that inside the command line here. And we just have to add ffmpeg.exe, like so, and hit render, and boom, you have ffmpeg installed on your replay mod. And there you have it guys, that's how you install FFmpeg for the purposes of the replay mod in Minecraft. If you have any other questions that I didn't answer in this video, feel free to drop them in the comments below, I'll make sure to get to all of them. And once again, if the links do change in the future, don't be afraid of that because that does happen from time to time. Just make sure to follow the instructions that I left in the video, find the mirror links, download those, most likely it'll bring you to a git repository of some sort. But don't be afraid of that because the open source community is really good. And actually FFmpeg is part of the standard repository for Linux, so you never have to worry about safety when downloading that as long as you follow the proper paths. Anyways, that's going to do it for today. If you like what I do here, make sure to check out my other series. I play on the Enigma SMP server all the time and upload LPs regularly. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. That way you can catch more content by me. And I will see you guys all again in the next one. Later.